What's going on, my sexy pieces? Hey, listen, man. So on Sunday, we dropped the best reviewed hot dogs in my state. And so now it's time to slide over to Dutch's. And hopefully, their hot dog game is on point. Maybe. Let's find that out together. Keep it crispy, sit back, relax, and comfortable. It's your main man, Dangerous, baby. And it's time to now eat at the worst reviewed hot dog restaurant in my state. guys right now we're at 124 church street wallingford connecticut at the duchess that has that two and a half star rating let's get into some of these reviews slide up in the spot get these hot dogs and let, let, let's start them off with a five all day banger and let's hope they stay there the saddest bacon egg and cheese you'll ever find they used to be great quick sandwich to grab but they've become terrible and this last trip there was eggshells in the egg oh come on daddy Toxic bordering on a hostile work environment for the crew of this restaurant. I found a long hair in my hot dog. I'll never visit again, mortified. Right, we found hair in our food before. It didn't go too well. I stopped going here because of sloppy service and the constant playing of the propaganda channel Fox News nonstop. All right, you know what? Let, 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 oh, let's hope we don't get a hair in our hot dog, daddy. <sighs> Thanks for rocking with me, guys. Uh, let's let's go in. All right, guys, I decided to go ahead and mess around with two. I got the regular dog and I got the long dog. Uh, just like on Sunday, I grabbed one with mustard. I grabbed the other one with their spicy relish. This one here, I grabbed the regular with relish and their long dog with regular mustard. So the regular is like 349. The long is like, I think, 429. All right, this is the regular with their relish. Mm -hmm. Get in on this thing. Looks like we have a toasted up bun, okay. Soft exterior, doesn't look too crazy. SBA, you know, soft bun action on that. Let's open that thing all the way up, see what's happening. Okay, okay. I mean, so far it doesn't look that bad, foodie fan, right? It looks like a regular hot dog with relish. How bad can it be? I am checking for hair. Now that I saw that review, I am kind of double checking. But it doesn't look like we have any hairs on this one. I think we're okay. All right, let's see how she tastes. Jeez. I would sit by the window with all the fruit flies, right? Mmm. Mmm. Alright, God. <clears throat> Bun is decent. Hot dog is, huh? Basic flavor, a baseline, not definitely not Hummels. This, this is not Hummels action. Stop it. This is a base dog. This ain't even ballpark. This is, I don't know who this is. Who this? Who this? Who, who dog is this? Look, the worst part about this is the relish. The relish has a real distinct uh, tartness to it. Yeah, it doesn't have. I mean. You can get a sweet relish, you can get, a, I guess this is the base relish, just as much as it has the base dog. Nothing that really stands out about it, aside from the soft bun with a little, little like crunch, that's decent. The hot dog itself though, real mediocre. That relish is just rolling around in my mouth, just giving off real negative vibes right now. Bad, bad tasting vibes. Um, 
that's enough for a one and you're done, son. That, let's wrap that thing up. Let's uh, go back to where you belong and stay there, please. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this long dog with mustard. Some fruit flies? Come on. You tripping. Don't worry, I won't beat y'all in the head for your fruit flies. Like, I, I sat over here. I could've sat on that side. These little is all over the window. Let's see what's going on with the long dog. With the... Okay, get over there. Get, okay, okay. There's a little long dog. Base thickness on that one, like a little base thickness on it. Okay. Looks more like a honey mustard, but mustard all the same. Still toasted bun. Let's go ahead and get into that bite of delight. Y'all know the type of bite I took out of the other one, so let's put this up against the long dog. I would think it would stop right about here. So the long dog only doesn't really extend out much further. Alright, so as you guys can see, this the long dog's at the bottom. The regulars at the top. Definitely two different hot dogs on that one. Let me hurry up. These these fruit flies, they want in, son. They they want in. They're all over the place. Alright, hurry up. Regular mustard on a long dog. Even the flavor on the long dog is better. It has more of a power bite for the hot dog on the long dog. Bun is still soft. That's behind the bun. Mustard is definitely better than the relish here. It has that, that, that zang, which is zest and that tang, not that tart part that was on the relish. This is just a nice bite. This is like your all-American dog. Your all-around American dog with a little bit of mustard on there. Can't go wrong. It's beefy. Yeah, that, that's a little beefy thang thang. It's a decent bite. Amazing hot dog, man. But it is, it is close to the line. Okay. All right, y'all, this is the part. We take it back to the crib, beat up Yelp, and give it an overall review. I already know where I'm going, but before I get there, what do you think I'm gonna give Duchess? Put it in the comment section below. What's going on, people? We are back at the crib right now. It is time to slide over to Yelp and get into this Duchess review. I'm gonna show you an ongoing theme. As you notice here with Duchess, this is the one that we went to today. However, it doesn't matter. Duchess of Danbury, two and a half stars. Two and a half stars, three stars in orange. This one right here, Metal Street, three stars. Two and a half stars, two and a half stars, three stars, two and a half stars, two stars in Monroe, two and a half stars. No matter how you chop it up, it's a two and a half type of location. So we're gonna get into it. This is the one that I'm talking about. That's the one that I went to today to try the hot dogs. Um, again, 124 Church Street, Wallingford, Connecticut. And we're gonna get right into the review on this one. Now, how I feel about the spot, and I hope you guys already guessed in the comments below, you're about to find out if you're right. Overall, I'm gonna give it a two and a half. On Yelp, you cannot give a half point, so we do have to round up, so we'll give it a three. But in the review, you, I'm gonna state that I'm giving it a two and a half. You, you know how I move. However, if I could give the two and a half, I would. And now let us discuss as to why. Dutchess in Wallingford, Connecticut looked clean when I walked in, and that is always a good thing for any given establishment. I placed my order for two hot dogs, one regular with relish and the other a long dog with mustard. I made my way to the corner table in the back so as not to disturb any patrons while I filmed for my YouTube channel, and as I sat down, I was greeted with a few fruit flies, but that is life. They did not bother me much aside from the same two that kept coming over to check on my hot dog. As for the rest, they played gleefully on the window playground. I took a bite from my relish dog and both the flavor of the hot dog itself and the relish seemed off to me. The hot dog did not seem to have much bark to its bite, almost as if it caught freeze and burn for a time and finally was chosen to be cooked, but I digress. The relish was simply tart and my taste buds had better days when it comes to flavor. That combination alone was a one out of five, but moving along to the long dog, which to me was a definitely a better bite overall. A thicker hot dog with flair, and it actually had the flavor of a good hot dog. Just like with my regular dog, the bun itself was toasted and soft, and that is something that I can appreciate. The mustard was a compliment to the flavor of the particular hot dog, and though it was not amazing, it was still a good hot dog all the same. Even the fruit flies called their friends over to gather around that particular hot dog when I set it back down to film, and so they too knew it was the better option. Enough to be rated a three. <sighs> We're just gonna go ahead and 
post that review right there. Again, overall with Dutch's, look, just go ahead and spray your windows. Get a little treatment on your windows because that's where all the fruit flies were gathering around. To me, it's no big deal. It is what it is, but I'm sure to other individuals, they don't want fruit flies all over their food when they're trying to enjoy their meal. So a quick spray, quick treatment on the windows, that should help take care of that situation. Your regular hot dog, I don't know what hot dogs you guys use, but you might want to consider Hummels. Hummels has a good dog. They, they really do. That wasn't Hummels, B. That, that, that was hum. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, my bad. The secondary hot dog, though, definitely a, a higher grade hot dog, a better flavor on that. I could truly appreciate that hot dog on its bite. The mustard worked out great with that hot dog. I was ecstatic about it. But that relish, get new relish, change your relish options over Dutch's because that was just terrible. And overall, a two and a half, but I'm putting you in as a three because I can't put a half star into the Yelp review. For those of you that enjoyed this video, hit it with a thumbs up, share this, care, and share this out with friends and family. Be sure to turn that notification bell on if you do not want to miss a single video. I drop every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, and then I drop on Storyfire during the week, so be sure to check out Storyfire, hit the link below, all that good stuff. You made me a dame drops. I'm going to see you on Thursday. Super